Hey, DT here. The Netflix Full Swing series just dropped today. I watched the first episode during my lunch, and I wanted to take a moment to share what I thought was the most interesting moment of the first episode called Frenemies, and also the most surprising moment. And for me, in this case, it's the most disappointing moment. I've been really excited to see this series drop. I really enjoy being around professional golf. I remember the first time I volunteered at the Dell Match Play Tournament in Austin, Texas. I just was giddy around being in that environment. And so I feel like this Netflix series takes you behind the scenes and kudos to Chad Mum and the whole production team for creating what I thought was a really immersive experience. Really captured a lot of emotion. I was really drawn into the storylines that they started to tell. And they definitely foreshadowed a tremendous amount with the season ahead, especially with Liv Golf. So here is my favorite moment from the first episode called Frenemy. So really focused a lot on Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth and the relationship that they share. And my favorite moment was Justin Thomas and the story that Chad Mom and the team told on Justin Thomas winning the PGA Championship in 2022. Five years later, it's Justin Thomas again at the PGA Championship. I never give up, right? At least for me, it was somewhat emotional. I, I got emotional watching the end of that really come together. So really enjoyed that. And so now on to the most surprising moment, or for me in this particular episode, the most disappointing moment. So Justin Thomas goes on to win the PGA Championship. And later in the episode, the producers ask Jordan Spieth, hey, where were you when Justin Thomas won the tournament? Where were you watching it from? And Jordan kind of hesitates and says that he was actually trying to fly back home and get home early or get back to his home at a reasonable hour. Where'd you watch JT's final round? So most of the time, and we stayed to get in a house together that week, most of the time we'd stick around, but I wanted to get home. And so that, at least for me, really disappointed me because it seems like they have a great relationship. And I even think back to times when Ricky Fowler is off the side of the green at the Masters and congratulates Bubba Watson and, and other players when they win big tournaments. And I was just disappointed for Justin and Jordan's friendship that Jordan was not there with Justin to experience that moment with him, congratulate him, encourage him. So was disappointed with that and surprised by that, really, at the end of the day. Hey, I'm really looking forward to the rest of these episodes. I thought it was really interesting that they dropped a bunch of episodes at one time, similar to how Netflix has dropped a series of episodes in Breakpoint. Hey, in the comments below, what did you find to be the most interesting moment, maybe the most surprising moment, the most disappointing moment of this first episode? Hey, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it.